Um, oh yes, hi, 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 Emma. How are you doing? Um, my name is Nana, and I'll be answering this algebra question for you, algebra two question. I'll just turn off my camera because I'm writing on the screen, and it will just be more optimal, um, easier to write. So we're given the problem that write the function f of x is equal to the absolute value of negative four x plus thirty six as a piecewise defined function. So I'm sure as how you know for a piecewise function it's it's basically going to be um as a piecewise function right the the function is basically made up of two of of two uh, we can separate it into two different functions so it would really be f of x right is equal to something here and then and then we have a certain a certain points on the function it changes right as how you would know so for an absolute value if you remember how the graph of an absolute value looks like at some um and and i'll, and I'll just draw the and i'll just draw the value of of um of just the absolute value of x and if you remember it looks like it looks like this if you remember the absolute value graph because at x equals zero and this is and this is the graph for the absolute value of x because at x equals zero right it changes oh sorry oh boy let's try to erase that um okay yeah yeah maybe we can work around that yeah it's not erasing sorry but you remember the graph x equals you know what you know, I'll, I'll just move to a new whiteboard. So so if you remember the graph at x equals uh, absolute value of x, right? x equals to zero, it changes from negative slope to positive. So for this function, right, f of x is equal to absolute value of negative 4x plus 36. We basically want to find, sorry, you basically want to find where y is equal to zero because here, because here in this graph of the absolute value of x, y is equal to zero when x is equal to zero um, in this case. But in this case, in order to find where, where y is equal to zero, where this function is equal to zero, we have to solve for it. And the reason why is because that will tell us where the function changes behavior. The absolute, and that will tell us where the function changes behavior. So if you solve for it, negative 4x plus 36, if you solve for it, you will get that x is equal to 9. So basically, when x is equal to 9, the function changes value, changes that it changes, and that's where the piecewise function is. So for an absolute value, the, the answer will be that when f of x, so when x is greater than 9, Since, since since we're trying to, what, what function would describe that? Well, when x is greater than 9, right? Let's say, for example, x is 10. So negative 4 times 10 is negative 40. And negative 40 plus 36 will be a negative number, right? It will be negative 4. But remember that with absolute value, you, there, are, there are no negative values because everything is positive. So if we're going to define a function that describes this absolute value function after when this function when x is greater than nine we can write it as negative times negative four x plus 36. sorry for this writing but yeah this is supposed to be negative four x plus 36 this thing here and the reason why is because whatever negative value that you'll get the if you times it by a negative it will it will negate it or it will make it a positive a negative times a negative is a positive and that's why we can write that we can write this absolute value function when x is greater than nine it's equal to this function right here when x is less than nine right when x is less than nine right whatever you multiply by four it will it will always be less than 36 so this here will just be negative 4x plus 36 and this is your piecewise function so remember for that's negative 4x plus 36 sorry 
this board um, can be troublesome. And 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 remember that that and remember right that when when you do it, the piecewise function at a certain point, and in our case when x is equal to nine, the the function changes or or when x is equal to nine, it goes from a decreasing to an increasing slope. As how as how we see that when x is greater than nine, this here. I'm sorry. Yes. Well. Well. No. Okay. So. 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 In our case here, right? Um, the absolute value it's it's always positive, right? The, and and this and these values always be positive. But this is the piecewise function, though. And um, and actually, and the changes behavior here, or that the function we have to in order to mimic the absolute value sign, we have to negate it here, as we see here. And if you have any questions, you can definitely ask me. But I hope that this made it clear. But this right here should be the answer. Thanks. Okay, and I'll just make this clear again that this is a this is a three. So so negative four x plus thirty six when x is less than nine, and then negative, and then and then negative four x plus thirty six. All of that times negative when x is greater than nine. All right. Thank you, and hope to talk with you soon. Bye.